Star Breakfast News. And coming up this morning, National Labor Commission describes action by civil and local government staff association as contemptuous as strike enters day two. Also coming up, National Association of Graduate Teachers raises concern over lack of consultation on free senior high school bill and later Ghana Meteorological Agency urges heads of schools to ensure structural integrity of buildings as it predicts more rains in the northern sector. We've got details of these stories coming up shortly, but first, let's remind you of our affiliate stations across the country. Star News is coming to you live on Ultimate 106.9 FM in Kumasi, Empire 102.7 FM in Takrade, Cool 103.5 FM in Ho, Ridge and Might FM in Tamale, Sonali FM in Wa, My Star Radio in the USA. Also live on Facebook on Star 1035 FM and on starfm.com.gh around the world. This is Star 103.5 FM. Many thanks to you for choosing Star News. I am Nurain Abbas. We begin this morning. The National Labor Commission has described actions by the Civil and Local Government Staff Association as contemptuous. The association boycotted a scheduled meeting with the National Labor Commission Finance Ministry and Fair and Wages Salaries Commission over their strike, leaving scores stranded at various government agencies. Government failed to implement a proposed new salary structure approved by Fair Wages and Salaries Commission after one and a half years since a memorandum of an understanding was reached. Here is Executive Secretary of the National Labor Commission, Ofosu Asama, describing the action of Clocksag as contemptuous. It's an unfortunate development, and I think um, that is contemptuous of the commission. Hmm. They were the first to write to us that certain agreements or understanding reached between themselves and government, led by the senior presidential advisor, Honorable Safumafu, sure. and uh, with the Ministry of Employment, Labor Relations, Ministry of Finance, have not been uh, implemented. Then that is to do with the new salary structure they are asking for and that having agreed on something as far back as 2022 to begin in 2023 and now we are in the middle of 2024 that if nothing was done they were going to proceed on strike away from that the national association of graduate teachers has voiced serious concerns about the lack of consultation on the proposed free senior high school bill being discussed in parliament the association claims that neither they nor other teacher unions have been involved in the discussions. Nagrat finds uh, it unfortunate that the Minister of Education, Dr. Yao Ose Edichum, plans to separate junior high school from primary school and cancel the basic education certificate examination as a requirement for entering senior high schools. Here are details of a statement from Nagrat. It reads, we wish to express our disgust and grave concern over the lack of consultation of the bill. In, in, in an interview granted by the Honorable Minister of Education to the Daily Graphic a fortnight ago, he indicated that the said bill, among other things, decoupled the junior high school from the primary school and makes it part of senior high school, thereby creating six years of secondary education as well as the cancellation of the basic education certificate examination as a precondition for gaining admission to the senior high school. It bears noting that Nagrat is curious about this unfortunate development. If what we have read and heard is indeed true, we hereby express our disappointment over the lack of any extensive stakeholder consultations and inputs on the impending supposed free senior high school bill, especially from the teacher unions whose members are key in the implementation of the free senior high school program. So those were except from Nagrat. We'll bring you further reactions of the story in subsequent bulletins. Now, away from that, Speaker of Parliament, Alvin Babin, has expressed concern that the increasing trend of citizens filing lawsuits against the passage of bills and parliamentary actions could render the legislature ineffective. This follows cases such as Richard Scott and Amanda Odoi's attempt to prevent the transmission of the Human Sexual Rights and Family Values Bill to President Okufado 
and the suit against a petition to parliament to investigate the Cecilia da Paz saga. Babin emphasized that while the court can intervene after legislative processes are completed, it cannot stop parliament from doing its work. He noted an influx of suits attempting to hinder parliament's functions and urged MPs to address this issue seriously to maintain their relevance. There is no business for anybody, including the courts, to consider. Because the constitution and the enabling legislation takes care of all these challenges until it is a law. It is assented to by the president. Judiciary has no jurisdiction to try to pry into it. This is notice. We have to take this seriously, or else our legislative authority is being taken away from it by other agencies and arms of government. That should be resisted by this house, or else your being here is of no consequence. The law is very clear on this. And so until a bill is assented to by the president, nobody has any business to take that process that is being considered by the House to the court. And I don't want to preempt the judgment of the Supreme Court in this matter. But I'm giving notice because on daily basis, I'm being served with rates as a party on matters that are being considered by the House. That's why I'm compelled to say this thing. And so please, I know that the uh, former minority leader just say he will exploit, but he will not proceed to do so. I know that. You heard the Speaker of Parliament, Alban Badbin. Now the National Council of the New Patriotic Party will today meet the party's flag bearer, Dr. Mahamudu Bamiya, regarding his choice of running mate ahead of the December 7th general election. Dr. Baumia is expected to defend his choice of energy minister, Dr. Matthew Poku Prempe, and explain why he believes Dr. Prempe is the best fit for the role. Today's meeting is in line with the party's constitution. According to Article 13, whoever the nominee is, the choice of running mate must be presented in consultation with the National Council. Dr. Baumia had a crucial meeting with President Danado Danko Kufado on 25th June to discuss his choice of the MP from Insha South and Minister for Energy, Dr. Matthew Opoku Prempe, as his running mate. He subsequently formally met and informed the NPP's leadership and, the, and Parliament's majority caucus. The Insha South MP's nomination has sparked mixed reactions both within and outside the NPP. While some are praising the choice, there is also opposition against picking him. We'll bring you more details in our subsequent bulletins. Now to one of our headline stories. The Ghana Meteorological Agency is urging heads of schools to ensure structural integrity of buildings as it predicts more rains in the northern sector. Some areas in Accra got flooded again yesterday after a downpour destroying property worth millions of cities. The heavy rainfall for over five hours obstructed the flow of vehicular traffic on major highways as residents living in flood-prone areas have been tasked to ensure structural integrity of buildings. According to the Ghana Meteorological Agency, heads of schools must thoroughly assess school buildings and carry the necessary innovation. Felicity Ahafianyo is the head of central analysis and forecast at the GMA and has been speaking to Star News. Yes, um, because um, we still expect one or two heavy rains for July. Uh, so because of that, those of us that is around the flood zone area, uh, we still need to make way for the runoff waters um, so that when it happens like this, uh, the runoff waters can find their way quickly to their destination. And then also, um, because uh, we have some of our structures that are big schools, uh, we need to keep checking it and keep the experts in so that they check it if there is a need to carry out some uh, renovational work they do that. Um, especially the, the school children, our educational uh, system, the, the, the buildings, the school management should 
come in to see so that we don't have questions whereby buildings collapse on children or students or even the teaching and non teaching staff. And this is the time that we should uh, do something about it for the entire country. And um, for those of us um, that we don't know anything about the weather, we don't care, I think we should uh, recondition really our minds so that we get a forecast from the Ghana Meteorological Agency. You had head of central analysis and forecast at the Ghana Meteorological Agency, Felicity Ahafianyo. And that brings us to the end of the breakfast news this morning. When you log on to starfm.com.gh, you'll find more news updates there. I am Nurain Abbas. Many thanks for your company. Next, add a sports team and then speak right. And then the morning start continues. Enjoy the rest of your day. Mm-hmm.